Hello there everyone and welcome to the Craft Your Life Project Kit Eclectic Bouquet Layering Guide video. So in the kit we do have the very pretty 6x8 stamp set. It includes some outline stamps, some background leaf stamps as well as sentiments too. As well as that we also have a layering stencil set which is going to allow you to add layers and colours to the, stamp, the images on the stamp set. As well as that we also have the die set and also a 3D embossing folder which is going to beautifully emboss the pattern from the stamp set onto your cardstock. So what I've done first is I have actually stamped the images from the stamp set onto some white cardstock and I'm just going to take stencil number one and add the roundish flower over into place onto the stencil. So once that has been done I have used the baby pink ink to add the ink to the base and then I've moved the stencil up slightly to add in the detail. This time round I will be using the fuchsia ink to add that in. Once that's done, I can move that stencil over and add the leaves into place that have, are just around the image that we've just coloured. This time, I'm just going to be using the Marshland ink to add that one into place there. We can then move that stencil up and then add in the leaves that are just poking off on this left-hand side. Again, I'm just using the Marshland ink to add this into place. So once that's done, I'm going to take stencil number two and I'm going to take the first flower that we have here. This one is the largest of the flowers. And for this one here, I will be going in with the very pretty wisteria ink for the base. I can then move the stencil up and pop the detail pieces into place onto the same image. And this time I'm going to be using the hydrangea ink to add that through. I'm just using a small blending tool for this, but you could use a larger one or one that you find works best for you. Once that's done, we're going to add in the third flower. This time round, we're going to be using the dewdrops to add in that base layer there. Once I'm happy with the amount of ink that we've popped through the stencil, we can move that stencil up and then add this second layer right in the center of that flower just to add in the darker shades. This time round, we're going to be using the aqualicious ink just to add that in there. Once that's done, we can remove that stencil. We're going to go on to stencil number three. I'm first going to add in the huge chunk of leaves that we have on this right hand side. Again, I'm just lining that up with the image that we have underneath. And then I'm using the marshland ink to add that into place. I'm going to move the stencil over and over again to make sure that I have all of the leaves covered with this stencil. And I am going to be using the marshland ink for that. We also have the single leaf kind of stem here as well on this stencil number three. So I'm just going to add that into place and then use the marshland ink to color that in. Once we've finished all the stenciling, we then have the flower centers on the stamp set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one that's more circular-ish and pop that into place on it to this blue flower. I'm just going to be using some of the Snapdragon ink to add that into place there. Once that's done, we can take the second flower center, the one that's more cupped, and we're just going to pop that into place onto the little stamen that we have on the image. And that is the layering complete. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.